Hey, good evening, guys. How are you? Good evening. So far, so good. Let's try this again. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, perfect, perfect. Eric, can hear you? Can Are you there? Yes, I'm here. All right, perfect there. All right, there we go, Eric. Great to have you, great to have you, Sandra. How was your day? Okay. Everything was okay? Yes, everything okay. Good, and how about you, Eric? How's everything going? Yeah, it's, everything is fine. I'm just working, but everything is perfect. You're at the airport? Yes. Okay. All right. It doesn't look like an airport. I don't hear any airplanes. I don't hear anything. <laughs> <laughs> Just because I'm in an office, I, I'm isolated. <laughs> yeah. But, in some, but I'd be in and out for a while if somebody called me. Ah, okay. Okay. No problem. Okay. We have Elias. How are you? How was your day, Elias? Right, thank you, teacher. How about you? I'm doing good. Doing good. Okay. I'm happy to hear that. Yeah. It's, it's great. We are in December. Tomorrow's already, I imagine tomorrow's already December 3rd. 3rd. <gasps> yes. Huh, but when we were in yes. March and March, April, May, hmm, it felt so long <laughs> to finish 2020. <laughs> And now, after March, every month was March. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. One, two, three, four, and now we are on December. Uh, yeah, I remember I, I saw some memes in, in August because of the vacation, and it says, ah, we are in August, only five more years to finish 2020. <laughs> yeah, too long. Yeah, because it felt, it felt so long because we were on vacation, but you couldn't do anything. It's, Everything was closed. Yes, yes, right. Imagine if this year, 2020, is just the beginning of uh, 10 years in uh, the yes. same situation. Yeah, I, I, I have read um, a few articles that say that, like, with the, with the Spanish flu and the influenza and things like that, mm -hmm. that traditionally it, it goes from five to seven years. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now... Of course, they didn't have the technology that we have today, right? They didn't have yeah. the, the airplanes. They didn't have the, the, the distribution of vaccines, the, the, the centers or all of the scientific evidence to develop or DNA uh, uh, a vaccine. So maybe, I mean, it, it, even I think if before it was five to seven years, probably now we have to think that it's going to be two to three years. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, we're almost going to have one complete year. We're finishing December. So, I mean, it's probably going to be around two years before everything normalizes. In this country? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I guess in some other countries also, because, for example, in the United States, in Chicago, they, have, uh, they don't permit tourists right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a lot of different places. For example, um, California right now has the same thing. They have the, we, in El Salvador, we say quarantine, but there they call it the lockdown. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they have also a, a lockdown, which is, is similar to the quarantine. Um, and it's very strange because uh, there, if you go as a tourist, it, you can go. It's not a problem. But you have to be in lockdown for 14 days. And if yeah. you and if you visit someone, the person that you visit has to be on lockdown 14 days before you visit them. No, that is not great for me. <laughs> it's not great um, for anybody because imagine yeah. the, the person is in quarantine that you're going to visit. You go and they are finished with quarantine, but you can't go out. And then it's going to be almost a month and a half before you can do anything. Yes. So at least in that case, you have to go, for example, if you go as a tourist, you must plan for at least two months. <laughs> Practically, if you really want to do it. Yeah. Uh -huh. So what we're going to, which is interesting because that's part of today's topic. Today's topic is looking at news and what are the different things in the news, like news stories or things that happen, things like that. Okay. 
So what we have are, in order to have the news stories, we have several different topics. Some people like, you know, international news. Some people like business news. Some people like, you know, all different types of things, um, in society news or, or things like that. So before we get into the grammar and all of that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make our uh, small groups and we're just gonna think about what things have you seen in the news? You don't have to worry about what is the, the type of news or anything. You just tell your partner, what are the last few articles or the few stories that you remember about the news that you have seen? Okay? Okay. Okay. All right. Hello. Hola, uno, dos, uno, dos, uno, dos. Loud and clear, loud and clear, buddy. Tres, How do you read? Tres, cuatro, tres, cuatro. Tres, cuatro. <laughs> okay. How's it going, Eric? Uh, pretty good, my buddy. I've been doing good all, all of this time. I'm happy because, like we have said before, the, the year is almost ended. And we hope the we, I hope next year is going to be great. What about you, Elias? Uh, excuse me? Well, today, well, yesterday I saw that in the news, Zoom was, was down in the price of stocks. That's uh, news that I saw yesterday. Teacher, what we had to do, sorry, because I couldn't pay attention when we start. No problem. The, the idea is what you're going to do is you're just going to take a moment with your partner and describe the last three articles that you have seen in the news. Um, oh, and, okay. and we're, because today's topic is news, news stories. So the most important first is what kind of stories do you watch? What kind of uh, you know news do you like to learn about or things like that? Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Well, I guess in my case, that was the first no uh, news that I saw yesterday uh, about the stocks and uh, another one that I saw. Um, yeah, me too. I I had the same problem because, uh, to be honest, and uh, first I forgot that we the, the course begin last week, and then I didn't have the time. Mm. Yeah. No, I, it's uh, it's the same. Like because I I connected until this day. The thing is that also in my job, we have been closing the year and doing many things. So I've been working late. So that's why. But I started again today. So to study, and they they upload that information on the platform. So we have to check every. Uh, assignment that we have done yes in oh. order to in order to know or I don't know how to say advance I can say that <laughs> yes yes. Advance, um, yes or progress okay oh, our progress, progress. Yeah. sorry <laughs> so and oh. where did where did you apply where Aditka Oh, okay, that's good. Yes. So, what was the last thing you, that you saw in the news? <laughs> mm, well, actually, I saw today a recent new news. Um, it was a man that he was driving in her in his motorcycle, and he he had fallen down. Uh, of a of a bridge. And, huh? um, I don't I don't
Hey, hey, Ernesto, how are you? Hey, I'm fine, teacher. Thank you. <laughs> good, good. Just a sec, I see everybody's taking a moment to come back from their groups. Hello. Hello, hello. All right. Good, good to have us back. I see, I think everybody is back from their groups. Um, let me double check. Yeah, everybody is is back. So the important thing is when we were talking about the news, but um, and it's good, but we need to remember um, the structures. So when we're talking about stories, we've seen present perfect, past perfect, uh, past continuous, all of these simple past. And especially when you're talking about things that you have seen or experiences, we use the past tense. So, you know, um, whatever it is in the news, I saw an article or uh, I read uh, a story or the last thing that I, I, I know I, I heard about, right? All of these verbs, we need to make sure they're in the past tense. Well, today we're gonna, we're gonna have an opportunity in a little bit to practice again. Right now, what we're gonna take a look at is in the news, okay? So we have many different types of news. We have here many different stories. Um, we have, ep the words are epidemic, famine, hijacking, kidnapping, natural disasters, political crisis, rebellion, recession, robbery, and scandal. Do you know what all those words mean? No, teacher, I don't. I, I have some questions. Uh, the number two, famine, you said it, right? That is uh, right. And hijacking. Perfect. Famine is when you don't have enough food. So famine is when um, a group of people don't have enough food to eat. Usually we think of famine like in Africa that they have a, a drought. But famine also happens in El Salvador when uh, in a sector or an area there's no food for the people. Drought is for no water, right? That is correct. Okay. Drought is no water. Mm -hmm. Okay. In hijacking, teacher? Uh, hijacking, huh? hijacking is when they take a plane. When, like 9-11 in the United States, they hijack the plane. That's hijacking. So usually when terrorists or other people, uh, they they use or they take over the control of a plane. Um, because terrorism. You, yes, yes, yes. It, it, not always terrorism, but usually. Sometimes um, hijacking can also occur for different purposes. For example, economic. Somebody wants the money. Somebody wants a ransom. Um, there's somebody important on the plane and they want to kill them. I mean, so there's there's other reasons, but hijacking is to take control of the plane. It sounds like movies, teacher. It sounds like movie, but all of it happens in real life. Um. That's why you think about the uh, Saddam Hussein and all of the terrorists in 9-11, they hijacked many planes. In the Middle East, they have several planes that are hijacked. Um, I think last year, Australia, no, yeah, last year Australia had a plane hijacked from New Zealand. Mm. And the difference between famine and recession? Recession, I don't know if I say it right. You did, that is correct. Famine is no food and recession is the lower economic output. That means there is less money or there is um, less, less jobs. This is the idea that creates the recession. And famine is that there is no food available. Okay, so famine is just with food and recession with whatever, like economic. money, yes. economic, okay. Mm -hmm. Any other words? Okay. Kidnapping, teacher? Kidnapping. Kidnapping. Good, good. Kidnapping okay. is to, to take someone. Um, usually they take children, but in El Salvador, it has been, um, we have had situations where kidnapping, they kidnap a woman and ask the husband for money, or they kidnap a, a son and ask the father uh, or the mother for money. This is kidnapping, when they take someone and ask for money. Okay, okay, teacher. Okay. 
the other words are okay? Uh, robbery? Robbery is um, like when they steal your phone or they steal your money in the street. This is a robbery. Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. Okay. Any other words? Okay, perfect. Now, let's watch the video and see what it is about the, when they're talking about it, it's in the news. Do you watch news on TV? Do you read the newspaper? The following words will help you speak a little bit better when talking about news. How would you define each of these news events? Epidemic, famine, hijacking, kidnapping, natural disaster, political crisis, rebellion, recession, robbery, scandal. Discuss the questions, ask follow-up questions and add extra information. How closely do you follow the news? What kind of stories interest you? What do you think was the most important news story in the last few years? Do you think stories about sports or celebrities count as real news? In class, let's talk about a relevant news you watched or heard today. What do you think was the most important news story in the last few years? Do you think so? Okay. So, as you can see, our topic is really about news. Okay. And what we're going to do is I put those questions into the WhatsApp group. And the same thing, in case you are here, uh, we are going to answer those in our groups. This is 2.7 in the news. Okay. So, we're going to talk about how closely do you follow the news, what kind of stories you interest you. We already have an idea. You already started to tell your partners. Um, what do you think is the most important news stories in the last few years? Okay. And do you think uh, stories about sports or celebrities are real news? Or do you think this is only for wasting people's time or uh, uh, distracting them? Okay. So in case you're not sure, the questions are also in the WhatsApp or they are on 2.7 in the platform. Before we make the groups, are there any questions? No. Okay. I have just entered, teacher. Carol, did you accept the invitation? There you go. How are you? How are you? Uh, a little bit busy. Yeah, just a little bit. Just in order, in order to, to, to not to not get bored. <laughs> yes. What so. about you? You have a great time. Yes, I did, but. The pandemic what, uh, was the most important news in the last time. Yes, I, I think this is the most important news. I, I need it. I need it so much. Yes. Okay. Uh, what other the most important news in the last time? Uh, mm -hmm. uh, Around the world, uh, for example, uh, the new president elect in the, yes. in the U.S. Yes. Mm -hmm. And and 
um, the next elections, elections in El Salvador. Yes, yes. For uh -huh. alcaldes the, the, the and next, diputados. In March or on February? February, 2028. February, February 28. Yes. Yes, yes. I think the same. Are you ready? Uh, are you ready to to para votar? Yes, I am ready. Mm -hmm. Vote. I am ready. Vote. Okay. Uh, vote. Uh, we'll talk about that, and I think that maybe happen. Maybe will happen. Maybe it will happen. Uh, the news that you heard about because um, the Bible talks about one govern government that it will be in all the world and all the peace we will be in the world and that will be another signal of the last days in this war okay yeah okay that's right yes that's a good type of a news that you saw. Well, in my yeah, case, I, I have been interested in, in those news because it, uh, they have to do with uh, with with uh, human beings. Maybe could be Ernesto. Yeah. But and, let's, Let's talk about the teacher is here. Hello, teacher. Let's talk about the, the, <laughs> the questions. Okay. Let's see the question. The first one says, how closely do you follow the news? Mm. As a matter of fact, I don't watch the news frequently. Just uh, during the pandemic, I watch it just to follow the, the COVID-19, but right now, I'm not, uh, I'm not watching the news frequently. How about you? In, yeah, in my case, I, I used to, to watch the news. It's one. I don't like news. <laughs> and you? Okay. Yes, I like news in the part of entertainment, celebrities, and sports. I don't like to see the news about sports, but I like um, to know about celebrities because I know that sometimes that's interesting because sometimes could appear your favorite actor or actress there in the news. Maybe they, they are announcing about their new movie or a new appearance in in public or something like that but i like it too okay that's good um uh, i think i i will maybe what important than the other ones for the weather the hurricanes well i guess uh we pass to the, the second question which is what do you think it is the the most important news or the latest important news that that you have been watched or heard well, in the last few years, yeah. well, I think the COVID-19 situation. <laughs> yes, you're right. <laughs> yes, yeah, because it's like uh, the, the uh, it, it's a kind of news that, for example, when it's um, in, in WhatsApp, because there are a lot of groups that uh, yeah. uh, that share that share news in WhatsApp. Uh -huh, uh, they okay. they saw news in Facebook and in share in WhatsApp group. Okay. Uh, in my case, uh, Cassie don't read the newspaper. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. You almost. Uh, don't social media the in my case the same daniel i i don't have a time for read a newspaper only mm -hmm. when i go uh, to take lunch 
Uh -huh. uh, uh, also, it's, ah, okay. it's the only time. Okay, okay. And what kind of stories interest you? Interest? Maquila is a good opportunity for those who have the, the resources, uh, resources to invest. Uh, there is a good opportunity because there are some exceptions of taxes like the impuestos sobre la renta. I don't know how to say that in, in English, but they don't, they don't have to pay that tax. That. That. Ah, okay. The but? That is correct. That. V A T. Okay. Value added tax. But, but they call it VAT. Okay, VAT. Mm -hmm. So, the, but that is are, like, like they, the they IVA know. teacher. Correct. Uh, uh -huh. No, but we are talking about the, the rent. I mean, the, the rent that you have. Ah, to okay. 25%. The, ah, okay. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that, mm -hmm. yeah it. they have to In pay the, the, the 25, we... uh, the, 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 the IVA, the IVA, yeah, they pay that, but the, no, it's... the, uh, the other tax, they are exempt, they don't have to pay that. Ah, uh, okay, that's correct, that's the, the right word, exempt. Yeah, it, it, even though all the employees have to pay the, the 10% of, that's true, of that tax, oh uh, yeah. That's true. So uh, maybe we cannot invest in that kind of business because we don't have the res the economical resources for that kind of investing. You know, it, uh, maybe uh, you need many many what equipment uh, that requires a lot of well, money. Well, it depends because you could take some uh, courses of Conamipe and get some. Uh, startup yeah, some credit uh, yeah some credit or some startup money to start your own business if you want to um start something you know but it depends yeah. uh, what you want to do they they have a uh maybe as as un segmento a segment uh -huh. uh, about the sports so uh, I heard Eugenio Calderon. Oh, I, I thought he was dead or something. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I see you guys, very good job. You're talking about the stories. Many of you are referencing things that you find important, things that uh, have happened in the last couple of years, things that you watch. Some of you don't watch the news, but maybe because of the COVID you started watching. So it's good, everybody's participating and speaking. Now what we're going to do in this moment is you are going to imagine you and your partner are newspaper or news reporters okay so you can be the the people you and you are going to tell us a story you're going to present the new story like in the news you're not going to present it to us like a friend you're not going to tell me oh well there's a story no 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 think about how you hear a new story okay and then you're going to present it as an example you can say <clears throat> um let me think of a story and then we say for example uh yeah. Uh, in today's news, in, uh, in Lourdes, Colón, two people were killed after a bus accidentally tires exploded, okay? Or in another news, on the other news, uh, people going to Los Chorros had to wait two hours in order to pass because of all of the traffic. Um, my partner has an interview. Uh, what do you say? Uh, you know, you can do whatever story you want. You and your partner decide. You can do one story and one story or you can do an interview. One of you is a, a interviewing, the other person is the person uh, the story is about. Uh, you can do whatever you want, but the idea is you are now going to present a new story. You are not going to present it like a friend. So remember, you're not explaining it to us like, oh, well, you know, I saw in the news. No, no, no. You are reporting the news. You are the person that reports it. So try to use your language a little bit more formal. Make sure you pronounce correctly, pause, try to, that's the idea. We want to make sure that we can speak in different forms. Is that okay for everybody? Yes, it yes. is. Okay, perfect. You and your partners will have 
10 minutes to prepare, yeah. 10 minutes, and then we are going to present to the class. So it is 8.30, let's say 8.34 right now. So at 8.44, we are going to come back to the class and each of you is going to present each, each group. Okay, no questions, let's do it. You have new partners, by the way. You have some new partners. Hi, hi. Do you, do you hear me? Yes, yes, Eric. Okay, Daniel. Okay. Um, discuss the situation. Okay. What, uh, what news or what do you think that we can do? present a situation as a news here in El Salvador? Um, for me, for me, maybe the most important is the next, the next uh, uh, elecciones. How do you say elecciones, teacher? News story. News story. Sorry, the, the elections, the, the, the elections, the elections. Ele elecciones. Mm -hmm. elecciones. Elections. Elections. Yes. Okay, the, the, the next elections uh, in El Salvador in, in February 28th. Okay. So, uh, what do you think? So, according to the teacher, we have to prepare a, a report, a report. Yes, a... a Pero todavía no me convence. Es que me acuerdo que había una palabra que nada más casero periodista, ah, como periodista, como se dice, o comunicador. Let me, let me check. Journalist? Ajá. So, we are going to be the journalist and we're going to present a new, something okay. that we are going to uh, invent or create. Okay. Yes. And, and he was, he was, uh, her husband or boyfriend or something like that? Like a ex-boyfriend. Mm. They were through a lot of bad situations together and uh, at the end of all of that situation, just the women broke up with him and, and he just revenged. And with that revenge, he just killed her. Oh no, that's too bad. This is feminicidio. How do you say feminicidio, teacher? Feminicide. This is a feminicide. Mm -hmm. Yes. Police almost, I think police took the man, arrest the man, just few minutes after that fight because the man is now under arrest. Really? Yes. Oh, no. They announced that today uh, to... 2 p.m. Okay. And then after that local news, uh, we can continue with the traffic or with the fork or with the forecast. What, what do you think? Traffic. Okay, traffic. There is a huge... I knew that I heard today. Mm-hmm. Well, um, I, I read that a man fell, has fallen down from his motorcycle and fell, fell down to off a bridge uh, here in El Salvador. I think it's in, near Apopa. I don't mm -hmm. know, but it's in San Salvador and 
I think, I don't know, the news didn't say that, but I think the, the man was driving too fast. He was in a, he was driving a motorcycle and for him. So that's, that's the reason, that's the most recent news. But I, you, you will need, you don't want to miss something like that. <laughs> okay, Leo, and be careful if you're running. <laughs> <laughs> that will be our people? closing. That will be our closing, okay? <laughs> okay, let's practice again. Mm. Okay. You start. Now, we, have, we have just five minutes remain, so we're going to use this dialogue that we do, or we're going to try another way? I think that way works for me, because I know a clear idea of how I'm gonna okay. say everything. Okay, so you start, Leo. Okay, perfect. Good evening, everyone. Today's news at the stocks. Soon stocks fell forty dollars per share. So much people is moving to another business. Be prepared to invest your money in another stock and try to be in four with us now. Uh, uh, her her opportunity. Yes. I think I think that. And um, what could be said otra vez? Yeah, it's, that is a good question. Okay. Uh, yes, well, well, I, I I I hear uh, I hear uh, the teacher the teacher. Uh, we're gonna talking about that in the in the yes all, yes that we're group. going to present yes for example that's what I, i'm going to say i have all those questions for example the next question mm -hmm. it might be this one mr canizales mm -hmm. what do you think do you think do you think Nueva Cidad is going to be a winner in the next election and or or also how many uh, my sister said that she uh, saw, an, saw an accident near Metro Centro. And that accident, uh, there were a lot of people um, golpeados, hit, a lot of people hit, uh, but the uh, teacher, how do you say titulares? Headlines. Headlines. Mm -hmm. Okay. The headlines for today are the following. A feminicide happened yesterday, and thanks to the, the viral videos, the police arrested the man. After that, Karen? After, uh, that's it. Oh, that's... That's a regular, that's a regular uh, news, Sandra. This is kind of feminicide. I think uh, uh, ONGs can do something about it. And now we're going to tell about the traffic. So uh, there is a huge traffic stop in Boulevard Constitución because Arrastra have many car problems. A truck. A truck, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> And also we, and also we are aiming to, for some help uh, to these people. Actually, the police are are on his way now, and <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's the okay. idea. <laughs> okay, from Susanate, from the. Uh, All right, I see we're back. It's 8.44. We're good to present. Who is going to be the first group to present? Me and Leo and I, teacher. No, Leo and I, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ladies first. Okay. Thank guys. you, Eric. Leo, okay, you ready? Awesome. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> wow. Good evening, everybody. everybody. Sorry. Good evening, everyone. Today's news at Rojo Vivo in stocks. 
we will talk about Zoom. Zoom fell forty dollars per chart. So if you were want to invest, think and in how to invest because your money is going back to another business. So now we're gonna go to a report of Carolina. Talking about investing, Leo, I want to talk to everybody about the crazy video that is going on social networks. Too many people were running to get into a mall this Black Friday, you know? Have you watched the video, Leo? I haven't seen, but it's too many uh, sales in the stores. I will go prepare with my credit card to Metro Centro. Maybe you can find a good offer. So be careful if you're running, okay, Leo? That's true. Be careful, people. Go with your family and be prepared, as I say, with your credit card. Thanks for watch Rojo Vivo. Oh, we did it. <laughs> Very good job. Very good. Nice job, guys. Good teamwork. Good teamwork. All right. Who's the next one? Sandra. Okay. Okay. Uh, good evening, people. This is Channel 5, and I am Karen Garcia. And I'm Sandra Basurta. Today, the headlines are the following. A feminicide happened yesterday, and thanks to the viral videos of people that posted on all social networks, police could arrest the man. Oh, that's too sad, uh, Sandra. I hope an, uh, an ONG can do something with this sad event. So, and uh, following with the traffic, there is a huge traffic a stop in Boulevard Constitución because a truck has mechanical problems. So, if you want to know the weather, here comes Sandra with the forecast. The forecast for today is really amazing. The weather will be with zero, zero probability of raining. Besides that, we are going to enjoy a really cold weather at the very early morning with 18 to 20 degrees of temperature. The winds will be the following, with nine to, to 10 miles per hour. So you can enjoy all the weather. And at night, you can enjoy the full moon with all the stars because is not going to be cloudy. Thank you for watching, guys. Do your day. Good job, good job. Karen, on, I put in the in the chat is NGO. NGO, okay. but very good. Everything else was excellent. Very good. Eric, I apologize. I forgot you were next after Carolina. I, I apologize. Don't worry. Nice. <laughs> we're listening. Okay. Are you ready, well, Eric? Yes, uh, Daniel, are you there? Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. I'm here. Okay, teacher. Okay. Uh, good evening, guys. This is uh, channel number five here in Cincinnati. We are now walking on the streets and we, we want to know what is the thinking of the people about the new elections, the new elections on February 28th. So, sir, excuse me, what is your name? Okay, my name is Daniel Eduardo Canizales. Mr. Daniel, so what do you think about the candidates of the new election next year? Okay, I think uh, uh, I think there are a, a good candidate in the next in the next elections. Okay, very but, good. What mm -hmm. what can you say to the people? What is your favorite party? Okay, in my case, my favorite party is uh, is uh, Nuevas Ideas for me. Nuevas Ideas is for you the best uh, party for the next uh, election. And what do you think is the, the most, the, 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 the good one for you? I think that uh, because uh, all of the people, all of the people that are tired for the old parties, uh, Arena and FMLN, no me van a tirar piedra, sorry. Uh, <laughs> and, <laughs> and for that, <laughs> and for that I, I believe Nuevas Ideas change uh, the politics in El Salvador. Okay, Mr. Canizales, do you think Nueva Ciudad is going to be a winner next year? Yes, I think because uh, there are a lot of a lot of uh, people believe it, believe it that believe that. That's pretty good for the audience to hear that. And what, how many dep deputies and mayors do you think Nueva Ciudad is going to have next year? Okay, I think um, 
uh, eh, habrán uh, a lot of uh, diputados en en alcaldes elect in the next election in February 28. Thank you very much, Mr. Canizales. Well, this is Channel 5 for you in Sonsonate and for everybody in the, in the country. Thank you very much for hearing us and listening to us. Thank you. Okay, thanks, thanks. Very good job, good. guys, very good. I also put in there, um, there are many mayors. Mayors are the name yes. for alcaldes. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, mayors. Yes. Okay, and congressmen is the other one for- yes. Congress. Okay. Yes. Uh, Diputados Congress. Yes, usually we use congressmen. Um, we can say sometimes people use senators, but because we don't have, like, we don't have the same uh, legal positions as other countries, so we don't really have those those senators for each state. Okay, Thank you very teacher. Much. Thanks. You're Thanks, welcome. Teacher. You're welcome. All right, who's next? Who's the next one? Me. All right, Lupita. And Elias. Uh, Elias, are you there? <laughs> he disappeared. There. Yes, I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> ah, okay. No, I'm paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's start. Well, hello everybody. Here's Stephanie Palacios from Channel 6. Reporting huge flus due to the Hurricane Carolina in Sonsonare. And our corresponsal in Sonsonare Channel said the height of the flu is almost 20 centimeters deep in some places. Okay, Elias, tell us a little bit more. Yeah, well, uh, today a, a teenager was condemned to 15 years of jail uh, because, the, because the violation of a, of a girl in in a, in a canton called Alemán in the, in the department of Sonsonate, from Sonsonate, Elias Ortiz Escobar with the news. Thank you very much, Elias, and thank you for all for watching. Okay, <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> okay, very good. Only that the name is rape. Uh, it's oh, called okay. a rape. Very good, very good. Okay, mm -hmm. rape. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, I think that leaves just one more group, right? Uh, Claudia and Ernesto. Yes. Yes. Okay. I am Claudia from Sixth Channel. I am presenting. Ya te a new, I am. I am presenting a new about an accident near Metro Centro, in which they were only hit, but. There were no dead. The first car hit the second from the front. The people were transferred to the Rosales Hospital and they were treated immediately. Ernesto, uh, has the second new, please. Okay, Claudia, how are you? Um, continue with the news. We have a lot of cows here. Um, there have been involved three or four cars. There are, the first one is filled out, the second one, and they're still taking them away. They're pulling the bodies from the breakage. And uh, there are a lot of good work in here to try to help the victims. Hopefully they will find or, or help. We're still waiting for the police, waiting for the ambulance, but I hope they are in their way. That's a report from the insane. Let's back to the stage. Okay, Ernesto, uh, uh, the accident uh, was resolved for the people and that were the news for this day, only that. Very good, very good. Okay, great guys, that's a great work. Everybody was able to tell a story, everybody saw, and that's pretty much the idea or the the topic for 2.7 and 2.8, which was mainly looking at the idea of the news stories. On 2.8, your activity is going to be listening to an uh, early morning news broadcast. That means it's the stories or it's the news that you hear in the morning. Many times people listen to this in the car or in the bus or places like this. 
that's what you're going to hear in 2.8 and according to what you hear you're going to choose the stories that they're talking about okay uh, what is the topic of the story or in part two, uh, what is specific information that they give? For example, where was the accident or what is the, what is the problem or things like that. Before we continue, are there any questions for anything about the news? Um, the words that we saw earlier, were they okay? You remember them? Remember we had the words like famine, uh, hijacking, kidnapping. Do you remember all of those words? Yes, I do, teacher. Okay, excellent, Carol. I like that. All right, good. Okay, so now the next part is we're going to just have the introduction of what is the adverbs. Does anybody remember what are adverbs? Are, yes. are words that modify the verb. That's right. They modify. Also, the adverbs and adjectives. Correct. Correct. So adjectives modify the nouns and adverbs modify the verbs, okay? Now, here in our, in our chat, in WhatsApp, I already sent to you the idea of the topic. These are the different adverbs that we're looking at. These are adverbs of time, okay? So the adverbs of time especially help us when we're telling a story, when we're describing the news or situation. They give us information like the, the order. Uh, afterwards, before, when, things like that, okay? So, hang on, let me share my screen with you so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so there you can see we have several different adverbs, okay? And all of those adverbs are exactly what we're talking about. They help explain the order of the events or the order of the actions. So we have the words afterwards, later, the next day, okay? And then whatever happened. So afterwards does it, doesn't mean um, it has to be many days or hours or things. It just means after that event, okay? The next day is specific, just like the next week or the next month, if whenever you use the next. That means the following, okay? Then we have the adverbs to describe when they happen at the same time. The same time is when, as soon as, the moment. Those three, whenever two actions happen at the same time, then you use when. When I got home, the phone rang. So you enter the house and boom, the phone starts to ring, okay? The same for as soon as or the moment. And then the last one is those adverbs um, to describe something that was true or that happened before an event in the past. So that means up until then, before that, and until that time, that means that this happened before that, okay? Or in the case of this example, I had never lost anything important. That means that this action you never lost, this ha never happened up until then or up until that time. Now, as I say, all of these are just, today is just an introduction for you to understand what we're going to be using tomorrow. We're going to try to combine the adverbs of time with telling a story. So we're going to try to use our vocabulary like a news story, news report. So as soon as the, the man uh, hit the other or the, uh, the man started to drink, boom, he created an accident. Or um, afterwards, the police arrested the person for escaping. Okay? So think about it we're going to don't worry we're going to try to use it tomorrow but it's a good idea tonight to think of a new story because tomorrow you're going to have to tell a new story and we're going to combine this don't worry it's a little complicated we'll go through it at the beginning of tomorrow's class but just so you're you are prepared for tomorrow okay guys okay okay teacher. Okay. okay great guys have a great night and then i'll see you guys tomorrow Okay, See, you okay. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye, everybody. Take care. Take care.